Hi again, everybody. It's Steve Staples here, chairperson of Peace Quest. I'm delighted to have you back. And uh, today we're talking to Stephen Kimber. Stephen is a professor of journalism at the University of King's College in, uh, in Halifax, a good friend of mine, and he's written a new book. Stephen, thanks for joining us. Oh, thanks for having me, Steve. Really appreciate it. Um, I'm really excited because your new book is just called Alexa. <laughs> and it's about Alexa McDonough. And the cover just has the word Alexa with an enormous exclamation mark at the end of it. And I just think it's so appropriate. And it, it, one of the things that we that is in the book is this evolution of a woman, a political figure who never is successful in terms of forming a government or anything like that. But because of her integrity, her, her ability to call things out, call things as she sees them, uh, became a, an icon for uh, people across the country, not just NDPers for sure. And there, were, there, there have been surveys that were done during her career that suggested that uh, certainly she could have been Premier of Nova Scotia if she'd been uh, the leader of another party in a very conservative part of the country. But she, she was so well known that she was just known to everybody as Alexa. And she was well known in the peace movement. Uh, mm -hmm. She was always around the peace movement, right back from uh, the Halifax Voice of Women and working with Muriel Duckworth there in Halifax. I mean, she was a member of parliament for Halifax. Mm -hmm. And I always felt because there's such a large military establishment and a naval base right in her riding, but yet she somehow managed to be such a strong advocate uh, for peace issues. So uh, that was where she began uh, in a public way, I think, to be connected to, to the peace movement. She was a, a, you know, a follower of Muriel's, sort of, certainly before that. And she was involved with other uh, NDP activists from across the country who were also involved in, in peace work. One of the issues that she took up was of a missing man who became famous in Canada. Uh, uh, tell me the story about Meher Arar. This, you know, became public early on that a Canadian had been arrested. He was he was suspected of being Al Qaeda. I mean, that was the sort of the this is very much of the time. And uh, his his wife, Monia, was uh, there, uh, not in Canada, but but far away. Uh, she was trying desperately to get help to get kicked. Canadian government officials to pay attention to this. Nothing was happening. Uh, she was becoming very frustrated. And then one day, out of the blue, uh, she got a call from Alexa McDonough. A couple of weeks wait later, uh, there was the first free Meher uh, vigil uh, on Parliament Hill. And her role in politics in post 9-11 uh, it was pretty impressive and important. Uh, she helped to, to, to shape uh, people's opinions about a lot of things. 